Why? How many times did you go to the gas station today? No one. No one? Yeah, right. No one? What's up guys? So we're just riding right now. We're en route. Make a few stops. Not sure what all exactly is gonna be in this video. We'll find out. But we're gonna kind of let the day come to us because it's Monday morning. We had some bad storms last night. So some what we're gonna be assessing some things. I've got a couple stops to make. But I got Drew with me. He's right over there. Hey guys, yep, that's me. So we were rolling, doing our little video there and totally missed my turn. It's Topo Chico morning. Not sponsored, but definitely, oh, be. but definitely used. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I mean, look. <laughs> Look in the back. <laughs> Heavily loaded. I had a surprise birthday party this weekend. It was pretty overwhelming. Um, they got me good. There's nothing more alarming than when you drive 40 or, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes away to go eat with a few select friends and 40 or 50 people that you know are sitting in the room. I mean, that's just a weird feeling. So I'm the big 4-0. So they say I'm uh, over the hill now. So that's which is good because it's gonna be downhill from here. <laughs> so this stop here, doing a consultation, going to be looking at some flooring possibly and not sure what else, but we're going to get into it, see what happens. Um, we may do a little filming here, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna stop it right there and let you guys know that we didn't do any filming inside, so here's the rest of the episode. You think you can make this jump, Drew? Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't uh, fall on your face because that would have been really good footage. <laughs> Okay, so everything went well. This is actually a referral from another great client who said some nice things about us, so we're grateful for that. Um, now we're late to our next appointment, so let's touch base, see what we have to do to uh, get caught up here. Hello. Hey, Cindy. Yes. It's Josh. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm just finishing up with my nine o'clock. So. No, that's um, fine. Are you still available? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming that way. We got one more stop here, and uh, not sure we're gonna film, but we're just gonna go check it out. We're quoting on a, the demo of some fence to haul off a hot tub to pour a footer for a rolling gate um, to install some new fencing on both sides and to build a deck around a pool. So that is uh, the basics of this quote that we're gonna be doing. So now if we can finish the other things we gotta do. I don't know when I'm supposed to find time for office time, but it's gotta be quick because people want things quick. Okay, so we stopped by to check in on our barn dominium build in uh, Mansfield today. And guys are making good progress. Just gonna hang around for a little bit see if there's any additional questions that need to be done. Uh, 
But if you haven't been following along, you should check it out. We have kind of a whole build series going on this field. Okay, so in one of our last episodes, we were talking about this particular spot. Um, now you can kind of see, because we're laying out the rest of the framework for this bump out right here. And as you can see, if I put my door right here, which the frame is going to come, this comes out about four or five feet. Well, if you got an opener that's coming and opening up and going this way, that's why this beam, which hangs lower, would be an obstruction for the door. So you can kind of see a little bit better what's happening with that. Uh, why? How many times you go to the gas station today? No. Yeah, right. No. Oh, only fumes. Brandon. <laughs> Always. Brandon. No, we got a poquito. Poquito más. If we uh, had power right now, that would be really nice. But even if we didn't, we still need gas for the uh, uh, welder because it's a fuel-powered welder. But it's okay. We're going to roll with it if we don't get stuck at the gate. <laughs> It's a lot of mud out here today. <laughs> We're here. I think that was like five seconds, right? It wasn't, wasn't very long. Oh no, Nico. <laughs> oh, look at that. He said, no problem. Be careful with the mud, Nico. All right, that's good. We got her fired back up. Back to work, boys. Okay guys, we're here checking in on the progress for this backyard patio addition and everything's coming along pretty nicely. Um, as you can see, we got this exposed tongue and groove cedar with exposed two by eight rafters. These big, nice four by 12 beams coming across here with these four by eights design truss look. And we added thickness to this as well as strength when we put like an OSB over top of this as well so that we could get a little bit longer nail uh, because the tongue and groove on the deck is only half inch. And we got to continue and close in this T111 up here on the top side. So we're trying to find some materials that will match that. And it's going to be beautiful. We're going to keep the white. I think it's going to tie in really nicely. Uh, with the stained cedar up against the white gable end, which is really the look I'd like to go for on this particular finish out. Um, everything's coming along the way we want, so I'm real happy with the way this project's turning out. If you need or want this type of project, give us a call. We'd be glad to give you some kind of a consultation or it's free. We just come out and look at your backyard, see what it is that you'd like to do and try to put a budget together. So don't hesitate to call us 469-552-8205. I'm Josh Helm, Texas Best Construction. That was a whole commercial. Right there. <laughs>